foremost, um, you know, I wish I could bring everybody up here. Um, I really wanted to get the O line up here, the seniors, um, George. You know, I wish I could bring up the receivers, man. It's a great team win, especially on senior day, man. For these seniors out here, uh, we got 19 of us that will never play in highest field again. Um, you know, I'm so appreciative of these guys. So appreciative of the fans. You know, we just appreciate you know every single one that came out today. Um, and uh, you know, we just. You know, that's, that's a great win, man. It's, it's a great way to leave Hines, a great way to leave our legacy on this place. And, um, you know, before y'all ask me any questions, just understand that nothing that I did or Darren did or anybody else did is, is not possible without these guys, without the tight ends, without, without the receivers. Um, and that's what makes this sport so great. That's just, it's the ultimate team sport. 11 guys doing their job. And if one guy messes up, that's the difference between a touchdown the difference between a tackle for loss. So, you know, my hat's off goes to these guys, all of them, everything. And, um, you know, with that being said, uh, I'll take some questions. Roger, you rushed for a thousand yards as a freshman, and you kind of were back up your sophomore mid year. Like, how, how have you been able to persevere with, uh, you know, trying to wait your turn, you know, after having success early? Just being patient, uh, trusting the process, um, you know, just being there uh, when my number was called, uh, and just taking advantage of the opportunities. Um, Really just, you know, just taking advantage of all the opportunities that, that you get because you don't get a lot of them. Uh, so, you know, it, it was great to get back there, um, you know, back to 1,000, like I said, with the help of everybody behind me. Caudry, you're six back with multiple 1,000-yard seasons. What's it like to do it in front of uh, two of the other guys, Connor and Dorsey here? Oh, uh, it's a special, man. James been an honorary captain, uh, talking to him before the game. And, uh, you know, his message for us before the game was he just talked about opportunity. And, uh, you know, he said, he said we have an opportunity to do something great today. And uh, he was right. Uh, I think everybody took his words. You know, I think he's one of the most respected people that comes through this program. Um, and uh, also, Dorset being there, it's also another amazing thing. Uh, we were just in there with Jimbo Covert. Uh, you know, just uh, everybody that was there, you know, we wear these colors, you know, and we represent those guys every time we put these colors on. And, uh, you know, to do that, especially in the retros, the, the uniform that they wore, uh, it's an amazing feeling. Well, Andre, take us through the longest scrimmage play in history, just from your perspective on that 97 yarder. I mean, in football, it's rare that you get a hat, unlike, you know, everybody. Um, you know, it was just a power play. And, uh, you know, you know, uh, sure, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, just a power play. You know, Mike came around, or I'm sorry, Tino came around. Um, you know, let me up through the hole. George came around. And, uh, it was perfect. It parted like the Red Sea. And then, uh, you know, as a running back, it's my job to make a guy miss. It's my job to run a guy over, you know, not let one guy tackle you, um, you know. And, and I just, you know, after that, you know, I did the rest, but I didn't get touched, you know, for, you know, 30, 40 yards down the field. So, you know, that just goes to show you how great, you know, they blocked that play up front, um, you know, just shows you that, you know, that you know, like really just supposing I will, you know, uh, all game, you know, on that defense. And, uh, you know, it's a great job. What kind of feeling is to throw a guy away like that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it was a good feeling. Um, you know, like I said, it's just my job to to make to make a guy miss or to run a guy over. You know, being 230 pounds, you know, that's a strength of mine. Uh, you know, that I like to that I like to have, and just you know, really just running with power, running violent, and uh, you know, I just you know, just gotta just keep just keep going. We got two more games. And, uh, you know, we really, you know, really focused on Lake Forest, really focused on Lake Forest. What did your view grade your foot there? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you ask the, I don't know. I asked the gymnastics team. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did your buddy Darren Hall say to you after you took his record? <coughs> well, we, uh, uh, we actually talked about it before the play. Um, and uh, I asked him if he think I could go that, if I could run that far. And he's, he's like, I don't know. But, you know, he, he came up to me. That's my brother. I love him to death. You know, he came up to me, gave me a big hug, and he told me that there's nobody else he wanted to have the record other than me. And, um, you know, like, you know, y'all talking about me, but this man, Darren, seven carries, 186 yards. That's that's 27 yards a carry, man. Like, I, you know, I was telling him, save some long runs for me. Like, he had a great game, too, man. Another senior, um, you know, being able, you know, he that was his first game. His daughter came, too. You know, I'm sure that's special for him. You know, his first game, his daughter got to come and watch him play. He got three-month-year-old beautiful daughter, man. So to put that, put that show on, 
for his family and, and, and everybody, man, back home for him. You know, that's amazing. I'm just as, as happy for him as he is for me as well. Quadri, can you describe more, the emotion? More, can you describe the emotion of this day? It's an emotional day. Uh, just, just being senior day, being the last time that we're gonna walk into the stadium, the last time we're gonna have Panther walk, the last time we're gonna sit in those lockers, you know, the last time that we'll sing the fight song in that locker room. Um, you know, it's very emotional. It's very emotional. Um, and, you know, I'm just great. I'm just grateful that, you know, we came out and did what we were supposed to do and got the win today in Hinesville. You know, it's different being an underclassman because, you know, you, you want to send those seniors out right. And then when you're a senior, you know, you want to send yourself out right at the same time. And I don't, I don't think our, our, I think our seniors played the best game they played all year. Um, as a collective group, offense, defense, man, everybody, everybody were doing their job and you know, we just played great today. Kevin, you got the last question. With so much riding on this game, what was it like to end in, in, with your best performance? How much have you heard from previous players, the guys from the past, about the disappointments that they've had here with so much riding on? You know, uh, you know, our message throughout the week was just focus on this week. Don't look at, don't look at the standings. Don't look at you know the media. Don't look at what everybody else is saying. Just focus on us. You know, forget everybody but us. Let's just focus on us. And uh, you know that, that that's just our motto that we carry into every single week. Don't look at the standings. Don't look at the scoreboard. Just go out there and we focus on us. And and we'll, we'll do what we have to do to get the win. So thank you. Appreciate it. Have a great night.